fork is immense and huge. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel once again. Welcome to a brand new video. Now today you join me inside the VW Golf 7.5R. Yet another Golf on the channel. Uh, but to be honest, I've never done a video with the 7.5. Uh, although it's not that different to uh, the 7R, there are some slight changes which end up making uh, big differences. But yeah, big thanks to the owner of this car for bringing it out here uh, for me to do a video with it. Uh, do check him out. Uh, check him out on Instagram. Uh, his page is really awesome. Cars Ignite. Uh, the Instagram will be on screen right now. He takes some of the best car photos uh, in the nation. Like honestly, beautiful pictures. Different vari variety of cars. Uh, your M4s, your Ferrari 488 pistas, basically everything in there. Uh, do check him out. But let's get into today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. <music> guys here it is and this one is in a proper color that is lapis blue looks amazing out in the sunshine so what are the differences with the 7.5 so you have reworked uh, a reworked look to the headlights the the kind of shape of the lights a reworked front bumper and uh, if you come to the side this one has the 19 inch rims although you could also get these on the 7r but carbon fiber mirror caps i believe this is new with the 7.5 r uh, the whole side profile didn't change the whole body is still the same but coming around to the back you have new led tail lights with dynamic uh turning lights which look ever so cool you have a little r icon or badge right there tail pipes are still the same as the ones you get on the 7r but those are the little subtle differences on the exterior so there's more differences when it comes to the interior let's check out so the interior. interior just gonna shut it up quickly so the interior what you get which is new is that you have a digital driver cluster as standard which looks phenomenal the resolution is just beautiful just put the ignition on again but yeah you have your digital dials which look phenomenal the resolution is very high like i already mentioned and uh, you can do a bunch of stuff here you can put a whole map for navigation here um uh, yeah you can change basically two different views let me see if i can get to do that the car is not on but i'll overlay a shot of that so you have a new and bigger infotainment screen for the 7.5 r and uh, i think that's pretty much all the differences not much but enough to kind of uh keep the 7. Point, i mean to keep the golf r a little bit more fresh but now these uh, the 8R which is a completely new model but at the time of its release all these small changes were necessary for the Golf 7R so this one has keyless entry and keyless go you can see that through the engine start stop button if it didn't have that you wouldn't have uh, the engine start stop button 
Otherwise, everything else is the same as in the 7R, pretty much everything, even the dyno audio upgraded system, you could also get that in the normal 7. The seats are also the same ones that you could get in the 7R. They look amazing with this sort of carbon fiber effect, which looks very interesting. Not really the biggest fan of it, but it's not that bad. It looks cool. Little RR logo on the backrest right there. And this uh, carbon fiber like material or pattern continues on the door. It's also on the door cart. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So the other major difference has to do with the engine. So with the 7R, uh, the power output was about 206 kilowatts, which is around 280 horsepower. Now power here has gone up to 228 kilowatts, which is around uh, 310 matrix horsepower. So this is the famous EA888, which is a four-cylinder, uh, four two-liter uh, turbocharged motor uh, used in a lot of the VEG cars, which is VW Audi Group cars, uh, like in your Audi S3s and your TTSs. Uh, a lot of models from Seat and Cupra, which uh, we don't get out here in South Africa. Those are European cars only. But this engine is so robust and it's so tunable. Uh, even in the new uh, Mark 8R, it's still the same unit. So in here, like I already mentioned, uh, 310 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque mated to a very phenomenal seven speed uh, DSG dual clutch transmission. So the car is all wheel drive being an R, but it's a Haldex all wheel drive system, meaning most of the time it's actually front wheel drive. It'll only send power to the rear uh, when the surface is a little bit slippery. Can it send 100% of the power to the rear? Uh, not not really in a rare occasion where the front uh, wheels have zero grip that's when it may possibly send a hundred percent of the power to the rear but that's unlikely to happen it's capable but not really but yeah beautiful so we're just gonna go for a little drive and uh, have a feel of the mark 7.5 r this is 228 kilowatts right yes that's okay correct. yeah so power went up from 206 to 228 kilowatts which is significant difference but these things are rapid the all-wheel drive system is brilliant uh, the transmission is thoroughly brilliant as well so hence why they are so popular sounds really good eh? but it does have a lot of uh, what you call uh, a lot of the sound is enhanced inside uh, the cabin through the speakers which is something that has to do with regulations I think but you can still hear that exhaust back there <laughs> I doubt you guys will hear it properly on video but it sounds amazing Being all wheel drive, it can properly put all that power down. <laughs> oh wow, this you, you honestly can't fault. It's up there. You honestly can't fault with all far. Like it does everything so well. The daily driving stuff, uh, being fast, it does all that very well. Do you want to try launch control? Okay, let's go launch control. an hour uh, VW coats around I think 4.8 seconds but these can actually do it in like 4.6 if you're lucky even 4.4 maybe but they're very quick I mean for normal driving on the road it's not bad you don't need anything more than that but yeah the 7.5 is a proper upgrade to the 7R uh, just some minor changes with the interior the exterior a little bit more power, but yeah You can upgrade to a 7.5 R if you do have a 7 R not necessary, but It's kind of worth it, but yeah beautiful. Thanks, bud. Yeah, man. Yeah.